what a foggy morning it has been it's burning off pretty good uh already here not much left sun is uh burning through and hitting the trees and just uh it's beautiful out this morning it's gonna be a beautiful day we got a lot to do we're gonna get to it i started the foggy morning thing out uh it's the beginning of a new video and that was three or four days ago and i haven't picked up the camera since till now life isn't always fair and uh, i've been a in a just been in a really bad mood lately haven't been able to shake it uh so excuse me if i'm a little out of character but i'm getting there sometimes you just got to work through things and uh get on with life and uh that's kind of where i'm at what's been going on anyway something's going on with the uh we've got a leak the air conditioner is leaking around the the gal gaskets leaking and i should have I should have took an extra step when I did that. Somebody mentioned it when they seen that video, but, and I thought, oh yeah, I probably should have done that. But by that time, the air conditioner was already installed. It was like, well, now here it is a year later or so. Is it two years since I put that in? Uh, the gasket's leaking. So I got to take it off and I got to build a, I got to make a little thing. And, and anyway, I got to run down to Lowe's and get a couple of things in the, so me and Bella's, me and Bella's gonna take a little ride down and get some materials. Gonna jump in the van and go down this evening. And uh, yeah, oops. the old coachman's got a leak. I know just going for a ride sure uh, improves Bella's mood. It might take more than that to improve mine. I wish I could tell you what, it, I wish I could share it online, but I can't. It's just, uh, yeah, but not to worry. Some of you know my history. It's, it's not health related uh, to me, my any of my family or friends or anything. Nothing like that. Sometimes it's just the way events unfold that my level of disgust and disappointment and I just have nothing to measure it against. And I just been in a rotten mood and uh, struggling to struggling to shake it. And, get on with things but we are it's just it's almost you ever be in a mood so foul that it's almost paralyzing yeah it's, it's to that level i don't know when that's <laughs> i just <laughs> uh, anyway got to get on with things and move forward it's like i say you know what it is what it is Gotta move on. So we are. Alright, I just ran in Lowe's real quick and got what I needed. I throw it in the van here. We got a, a uh, treated uh, two by two by eight foot long and a uh, can of what's that stuff called? Um <laughs> flex seal. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see if we can put this eight footer in this way. There, put it up in the bed down here in the corner eight foot yeah we got this stuff here uh man stuff is expensive i was gonna buy a quart i think you can get pints of it at least not at lowe's a, a quart was 34 bucks i hope i don't regret this i bought the spray uh boy i'll make a mess if i'm not careful but it was only like 14 bucks uh so we're gonna i've never tried to spray before we've tried the uh we've tried the other the brush it on stuff in the past and it works really good so we're gonna go with the spray let's get out of here yeah the sun has sat uh it's supposed to be nice t tomorrow i have to get this done and uh because there's rain coming after that i want to fix my leaky air conditioner my leaky roof before rains come right it just Right? It just happened all of a sudden today, and uh, no, no, settle, settle, and then uh, and that's why we put a bucket. We put a bucket under it. All right, we'll go. So we have a bucket under it for now. But, uh, it's just a slow drip. Well, it wasn't at first, but um, all of a sudden the gasket must have just said, "I'm done," and <laughs> started dripping. I'm like, "What is that?" So it's kind of quick for a little bit. You know, there's a little bit of water that pools up on that roof because it's a flat roof. 
And if it's perfectly level, it'll pull. It'll pull up a little bit. And then, uh, so, I guess once the puddle came down a little bit, uh, the, the drip slowed down. And anyway, we gotta, we gotta take care of that right away. Well, and we're back. Not supposed to be any rain tonight, so we'll be okay. No rain tomorrow. Let's go get this job knocked out, and we'll be all right. Hey, Bella. What do you say, girl? <laughs> well, I found out why my roof leaks. And there it is. There's a big hole in it. There's a there's a big stinking hole in my roof. All right. I took the air conditioner out and a little change of plan how I was going to do this. I was going to take this flange out of here and raise it up and build the two by twos uh, and then put it back down on it. Yeah, using caulking and die core and all that happy stuff. And I decided not to. I, I went up and I cleaned the roof and I inspected the, the caulking around it. And, you know, it's just maybe it just needs uh, re caulked after two years. Kind of disappointed in that uh, the die core I used. But I think we're just going to give it another layer. Uh, a fresh coating on it, put the air conditioner back in it, and call it a day. You see, I have the uh, air conditioner lifted out out of the hole it goes in. It's off to the side. And I was kind of surprised how much that die core happened to kind of shrink and pull back away. It'll, I mean, it's pretty good, but uh, it doesn't take much, just a little bit in one, one little spot, and you know, water can get through. So I'm going to put a um, a, a nice new bead of uh, die core around that and let it set up. The sun's almost over enough. Once the sun gets over a little bit and this kind of dries out better, and I did, uh, I didn't shop back it, I, uh, I, I used the leaf blower <laughs> and I blew off any excess water that was puddling and, uh, you know, cleaned that area real good. So um, I think once the sun gets over and beats on it for a little while and dries it out, uh, really, really, really good. I'll, uh, I'll recock that again and then uh, put the air conditioner back on it and uh, that'll be the end of that. Hopefully that'll be the end of that. Air conditioner don't work anyway. <laughs> that new air conditioner's already kind of giving me problems. Uh, yeah, it was throwing up an error and then not blowing uh, air very well. Um, real weak and I thought maybe it's, you know, the coils are free, um, froze up. They do that when they start having uh, some issue or another uh, they do that sometimes and I thought well I need to come out and pull the cover off the top half of the cover off it inspect it for any blockage or maybe it's not getting a good airflow or what just you know have a look at it and uh, then all of a sudden it started working great so I don't know if uh, maybe it had some blockage and it cleared out or maybe there was a little nest in there and it moved the critters moved out yeah I just don't know um, but it started working great again for uh, three or four days and then it just uh, kind of quit you know the remote for you know it, it reads the remote it hears the beat but nothing comes on the display I don't know it's having some issue so anyway I thought maybe that's freezing up and but at the time it wasn't dripping you know it would start acting it would blow cold at first and then after five or ten minutes it would just kind of start you know not blowing uh, very much so I thought maybe it's coming on running for a little bit and freezing up and blocking the air uh, airflow on it well you'd think if that was the case when I shut it off because uh, it wasn't working right you'd think that it would thaw out and then maybe it'd start dripping and none of that adds up it wasn't it wasn't dripping at all during that while that was going on it wasn't until okay now it's acting really acting up and not even really coming on uh, the three four days and just of not using it and then all of a sudden we're si sitting here and i hear drip 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 so it's not like the air conditioner was froze up it had three de the beautiful days to thaw it out you know so that's not it um it's just it's kind of coincidence that the uh the uh vicor uh caulking around her decided to it had enough maybe the summer heat it just kind of shrunk some more uh, just enough to finally there's a void in it now so it's gonna recock it and then i'm gonna get the uh, manual out for the uh, uh once it's back on sealed up and back on i'll probably get the manual out and look at the troubleshooting guide and start diagnosing why it uh is failing so 
Uh, it's always something, ain't it? <laughs> All right. I can tell you what, it's pretty warm up here. Just got done uh, putting the caulking around it. You know, look how it flows out. That's not even the self leveling. That's that's the non self leveling. And maybe because it's just so hot up here. And I did put plenty on. I want to be. Maybe I wasn't as generous with it. Uh, when I first, when I installed this flange, the mount air conditioner. Uh, maybe it shrunk more than I anticipated. But uh, so I put plenty on it. But I, nice, nice, nice amount around there. Well, I'm going to put this thing back on and uh, hopefully that fixes our leak. Hopefully. Then we'll worry about diagnosing this thing, see why it's acting up and throwing an error code and that kind of stuff. What does this roof need washed? And the solar panels, they're still outputting really well, so uh, still out of this stuff. <laughs> the roof is, it's due, it needs washed. Yeah, yeah, look how where I cleaned it at. That is filthy. Uh, you might have noticed when I did this, uh, I really was just gonna do the seams, but what was I doing at the time? I think I was doing the bounder, and I had enough left over. I was surprised I was just gonna do these seams, and I had enough. I just got this roof done, and it's a metal roof. The only reason I did it was the heat factor. This, um, the air conditioner was already on when that was going on so that you've seen that section didn't get done well that was bare metal aluminum you know here i can stand all right <laughs> it's not that hot where well, it was bare that is so hot so i can tell from the inside i mean the roof does have insulation but i can tell from the inside the difference on uh when it was all metal how much heat you could kind of feel that ceiling was always warm on days like today you know in the summertime but uh, once I did that, it, uh, it cooled down. And too, when the rain hits it, it's not as, <laughs> it kind of softens or deadens the, the pelting rain on that rubber coating as opposed to uh, bare metal. So anyway, the rest, uh, it's just sat on there. The rest is uh, some mounting screws that go from the up inside up. I'm gonna call that uh, done. And uh, I think rains are coming tomorrow. No. <laughs> I'll find out pretty soon whether it's fixed or not. All right, let's, let me get down from here. Well, I have the inside piece put back on and the uh, four mounting bolts that uh, kind of draw, kind of sandwich the unit to the ceiling and the, uh, the power's hooked back up. I'm just gonna put the uh, cover on it that has the controller in it. There's this little, where is it? Where is it? Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, here it is, okay. Um, there we go, this little plug here and it plugs into this little this little smart box we'll call it and that's what the remote uh control talks to that and the uh the display shows through there or it does when it's working properly and uh that's what kind of quit working on it when i hit the remote the unit beeps but nothing happens the it beeps well okay that happens but the display doesn't come on the the fan the compressor uh, nothing nothing happens with it so uh maybe having it unplugged it'll uh and bounce it around a little bit on the roof <laughs> it'll uh maybe reset itself and come back to life yeah, i don't know here let me get this other piece put back on and we'll see what happens well it beeped when i turned the breaker back on so that's it hit the on button oh look it came on uh it's set for 73 degrees it's magic. Maybe there was a loose connection too. Just needed this coincidental. Fan came on. Compressor came on. Um, it's working again. And uh, hopefully it's not leaking. Now maybe we can get back to you know, our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I turned it back off because I don't want it <laughs> until that uh, caulking sets up you know feel fully cures or, or or sets up pretty good i'm gonna give it a little bit of time i just put that on there not too long ago so um i want to let that fully cure before this thing starts spitting out um you know it'll drain water right onto the roof too so um yeah i want to let that so we leave that off for now at least it's looking good so uh and it's a hot day i am running the window unit the in the uh, back air conditioner 
I think it's 7,000 BT, six or 7,000, I don't know. Six, maybe eight, I don't know. I don't know, it does a pretty good job though. I had it off because I had the power off while I was doing that. It didn't take long. Had the power off, yeah, just a few minutes and boy, could feel the, it warming up in here. So I was glad to get it hooked back up, turn the power back on and get that back one running again. So, uh, all right, move on with things. And by moving on with things, I got this thing packed up. I want to get back up to camp. Uh, we haven't been up there in a few weeks. Gonna go up and do some mowing and uh, see how things are coming along up there. Any objections? No? That's all I have for this video. Now this is back under control. We can get on and uh, with our other plans. <laughs> Thanks for uh, watching today. And uh, we'll be back soon with something. Probably mowing a camp. <laughs> all right? I'll see you.